So there's a tutorial that I created about uh, how to create an online course website with Divi and Tutor LMS. And to be honest, I think the design could be improved because let me show you what I mean. Right, so when we come over here, we see that our website looks great. We have our fonts, you know, it looks clean. Everything is all good. But when I come over here now to the dashboard, guess what? We have this layout, which is good, by the way. But we can't have our custom fonts and it's quite difficult to go in and uh, make it match with the rest of our website. So at the moment, there's no integration between Tutor LMS and Divi, but there's a workaround. We have some short codes. Let me show you how to use these. Over here, what we're going to do now is to uh, add our short code so that our page here looks at least more uniform with our, the rest of our website. So over here, this is, uh, in fact, you know what? I'll include this link in the video description below. So if you're using Divi, all you have to do is to copy this short code. Okay, so now that I've copied the short code, we need to go and create the page where we can add the short code. So I'm going to come back over here on my site and then go to my dashboard. Next, I'm going to come over here to my pages and then click on add new. So we are going to call this page my dashboard. Then we're going to click on use Divi Builder. So you may be wondering why not just go into the page, which is called the dashboard. Now, the problem with that is it has already been created by Tutor LMS. Uh, so it's a generated page, which we can't go in and edit using the Divi Builder. So that's the only challenge that we have. So this is why we have to create a new page from scratch as I am doing here. All right, so now that we're here, we're going to click here on start building because I'm going to build this from scratch. Next, I'm going to add a single column here. And in that column, we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to go ahead now and select it. Next, I am just going to paste my short code by coming over here, pasting it. And now remember, this is the same short code that I copied from here. Okay, so now that I've pasted it, uh, pretty much it's going to bring all that information that we needed. So as you can see here, I have the ability now to go in and customize, you know, to a certain level here on my page. So if I come over here now and click on this little paintbrush tool, this is going to take me now to my heading text, which I can change the color. So let's say I want to change it to this color here. You can see there the color has been updated and that's pretty cool. Uh, while I'm here, let's just change it back to uh, this, this blue. And then over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the link. So you can see here, these are the links and we can also change them by coming over here and choosing our color. So I can expand my color palette here and uh, choose another color that I can use for those links. Okay, so that's a bit too light. So let's go with something like this. Okay, so I think that works great. Next, I am going to uh, now come over here and change this color. So again, this is my heading four. So I'm going to uh, come over here again and choose my colors. I'm going to go with this one. And that's looking great. Now, you may be thinking, what about the rest? You know, so you can't really go in and change these icons because this is part of Twitter LMS. But at least we can play around with the colors over here that we have on our text and also this button here is from Twitter LMS so it's not a DV button so we can't go in and change it which is okay so now that I have this all set I'm going to hit save and now you can see that our page looks much better now we can even go a step further and uh, go in here in our row settings and what I'm going to do now is to give this a nice background so I'm going to come over here to my design so I'm going to start off with the borders so I love giving my borders here uh, some three pixels all around and then back over here now this is where i can add my background color so you can go crazy and have it you know like that but of course uh you want to have something very subtle so i'm going to come over here and then choose a very light gray okay or if you want you can play around maybe with um with yellow as a starting point and then we're just going to bring this all the way down like that so i think that looks okay Next, I'm going to come over here and give this a bit of padding inside. So I'm going to go to spacing and let's say, let's start with 3VW, right? So let's, let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to do the same left and right, top and bottom. So we've given this breathing space. Let's save this and have a look. So as you can see, this looks quite nice. 
But you know what? I would actually go in and uh, reduce the background color here. So let's go back. Okay, so that's the level I, I would prefer. We're going to save that. Now, we have the ability to add some um, padding on the actual sections as well, which is something that we couldn't do with the default one. So I am going to add my padding here, and usually I go with 100 just to give this some nice breathing space. And I'm going to click on this chain icon because I want the same uh, padding here to be applied to the bottom as well. So you can see here, this is nice breathing space. And this is definitely looking much better than what we had uh, when we started off. So let me show you the page again. So when we look at this page, you can see here that we have, uh, you know, a bit of a difference in terms of design. And I'm sure you can agree with me that this is definitely much, much better. And we can actually see the page even better when we save and exit out of the Visual Builder. So does that mean these are the only short codes that we can use with Divi? And absolutely not. Um, so if we come over here to this page, you can see here we have the registration, we have the instructor registration and so on. And uh, further down here, we also have some short codes for the actual courses. So all this is stuff that we can play around just to make our design look much, much better with uh, Divi and Tutor LMS. I know it's a bit clunky, but at least that's what we have for now. But the great news is an integration is in the works, but uh, I don't have any timelines yet. But for those of you that want to create online course website and you've already invested in Divi, this is the way forward. Now, uh, another thing that I also forgot to mention is if you like to use Divi uh, or Tutor LMS, I have the links in the video description below. Using those links, those are my affiliate links. And if you use those links, I will give you some bonus courses as well that come with that. So let's go back now to our site. So over here now, we can see this is our page. Our font here is really working well with the rest of our site uh, as compared to this. We can't even add, you know, padding over here as we did over here in our design. So this is basically how you can use uh, short codes with Twitter LMS. So go ahead, try it out and see how it works out for you. That's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.